What's going on guys, it's Jake. We're back in for another YouTube video. This is actually episode 21 of Road to 800 Horsepower Subaru. So if you guys haven't seen, I made a playlist and I've labeled every one as a separate episode. Just so if anybody's looking to watch the entire series, they can go ahead and do that. But today we have more parts for the car. We have a couple packages from IAG and we have one package from my boy Joe makes custom 3D parts for the Subarus. So what we have here is a brake master cylinder reservoir cap and a clutch master cylinder reservoir cap. And these are gonna clean up the engine bay a lot because the stock ones are yellow and kind of ugly. So these actually go on top of them. We'll probably show you guys how to put them on today just because it's pretty easy and we'll get that done. And what we have in these IAG boxes is the billet alternator relocation kit. So we're gonna install this. But first we're gonna take this stock alternator, we're gonna take the casings off and paint them black because I think that'll really help clean up the look of the engine bay. So I'll show you guys how to do that as well in this video. And we have the power steering line. So this is for a rotated turbo setup. So the goal is for this line to go underneath the intake manifold instead of around the side of the cylinder head. So this is a little bit shorter than your stock location power steering line. And this is actually the high pressure line. So I will be making the low pressure line and stuff for uh, the return and the reservoir, but we'll do that in a future video. We also have the stock power steering bracket and this actually had a tensioner, but the IAG kit comes with a tensioner. So we'll actually be able to cut this bracket off and I'll put a picture up on the screen of what it's gonna kind of look like. We'll be able to cut this bracket off and get this ugly looking tensioner out of the engine bay. So that's cool. And also we have the stock power steering pump right here. Now I was cleaning it off and it's oxidized a little bit since then, but the wire on the back of it, which I am under the assumption that it is a pressure switch, it actually pulled out of the back of the power steering pump. So I'm not sure if any of you guys know, but I'm thinking about maybe trying to get away with just completely getting rid of this pressure switch because I'm thinking the only thing it could possibly do is turn on a check engine light. And also I asked guys on my Instagram story at Subi underscore Jake if that was the case, but I haven't gotten an answer yet from any of them. So that will be that when we get to it. And we also have a STI brake master cylinder. I showed you guys this in the update video, but we're gonna be painting this along with the alternator and the power steering bracket and possibly the power steering pump, but I'm not quite sure. Depends how, how good I can make it look. But yeah, that's kind of what we're gonna get into. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this alternator apart so we can get to painting it here in a little while. So if you guys like this type of content, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to show you guys everything that I do before this car gets put together to make it one of the cleanest ever. So yeah, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button. We'll get right into it. All right guys, so we're getting this alternator apart. There's a 24 millimeter nut here in the center. And when you turn this pulley, it actually turns the entire internals. So it turns the nut as well. So there's gotta be a way to hold it. So what I did was clamp this in a vise and I'm gonna hit it with this impact right here, 24 millimeter nut all the way up in here, get the nut off. And I have already removed the four bolts that go around the alternator that are 5 16 or eight millimeter, probably eight millimeter more likely, but Go ahead and get this off, then we'll pull the front casing off and get to the uh, insides to get the rear casing off, so stay tuned. All right, so I got the nut off the end. It was pretty challenging. I really had to clamp down on the vise really hard, but nonetheless got it off, and mine just pulled right off, but some of you guys may have to use like a puller of some sort. I'm very surprised that Subaru doesn't have this keyed, so that way it can't turn on the alternator itself. But anyway, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and get this front casing off and catch up with you guys when we get that off. All right guys, so I decided to just get this far and stop there because what has to happen next is this center piece has to come out. I'll link a video in the description where I was watching to try to get this thing apart, but it's just not quite worth it in my opinion. I'll be able to tape this off and paint it just as good with it on and I'll paint the front casing with it off obviously and then we'll put it back together and I think the end product will still be extremely similar. So that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this thing up before we get it in paint as well as a couple other parts that we gotta paint. So yeah, stay tuned, we'll show you guys. All right guys, so I got out the zip wheel and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the remaining part that we don't need for the power steering bracket. 
and then I will show it to you guys. We're just getting this stuff ready for paint, so that way we can do one big paint booth kind of thing and not have to come back and forth and blah 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 so i'll go ahead and get this cut we'll show you guys afterwards so i made pretty quick time with the zip wheel and getting this thing cut so you guys can see this piece right here was the piece that i cut off and it was actually pretty easy simple go ahead and cut that off and then we cut off this little bracket which is still really hot so i'm not gonna actually touch that right now but it went down there so this thing looks kind of ugly. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up with the grinder and uh, get it looking pretty before we go ahead and paint it. So stay tuned. Okay, so got this thing looking really pretty. Happy with how it turned out. Definitely a lot, lot better than what it looked like before with this big old ugly bracket up here. And also this little piece that went in the groove here. I ground it all down, got it looking really good. Pretty much ready for paint. Gonna clean this thing up. And also we're gonna take out the little pin here. You guys have seen me do this already but I won't show that. We'll get all this stuff painted. I'm still debating on whether or not to paint the power steering pump, and then we'll catch up with you guys after we get all this stuff painted, and we'll start to put the alternator relocation kit on the front of the engine, so that way you guys can see what it takes to put it on and how to do it, so stay tuned. Okay, so we got everything cleaned up, ready for paint, just letting the sun work its magic, get everything nice and hot and dry, so that way the paint sticks good. And what we have here is some Krylon and some Rust-Oleum. They're basically the same exact thing, both semi-gloss black. And after lunch, I'll let the stuff get real hot and we'll go ahead and spray it. So stay tuned and we'll show you guys. All right guys, so it's later in the day. I got everything painted, had it hanging outside and it's dried pretty nice. I'm really happy with all these pieces and how they came out. Give you guys a little quick look before I put them back together, but yeah. Super, super happy with how they came out. As you can see, it came out really well on all the pieces. So yeah, super stoked on how the power steering bracket came out because it looks like I haven't even cut it. It just looks like a factory piece. So that's pretty exciting, but let's go ahead and get the stuff out of these boxes. Go ahead and unbox these parts from IAG and we'll show you guys. First, we'll go ahead with the alternator relocation kit. See how they package this thing up. So first we have a belt from Napa, and I guess they just use Napa's branded belt. Um, that's for the basically the power steering and the alternator. And here must be the goodies. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. Also we have a little bracket here. It must be for for the alternator as well. And then it comes with all the hardware needed to bolt it up, so that's convenient. And let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. Yeah, so first glance, this thing is beautiful. It's billet, so you know it's a good piece. Just has this tensioner right here. Not too much else to see. Hopefully we can get it on the engine soon and show you guys. So yeah, stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll get this thing on and we'll keep it in this same video. So be sure to like and subscribe and we'll get this thing on, so stay tuned.
together. It is the next day. We got the alternator front case back on and the pulley. I clamped it in the vise just like I did when I took it apart. It wasn't too bad. I actually cleaned these bolts right here. So that way they would look new and good. And also we have our power steering pump. And I'm really happy with how this came out. Nobody really shows cutting this bracket. So I really wanted to make sure I included that. I haven't actually tightened these down yet, the bracket to the power steering pump itself, but I'm really happy with how that came out. It looks really uniform. So we're gonna go ahead and see what it takes to get this relocation kit on the engine. And we'll definitely let you guys know. Keep in mind, I don't have my harmonic balancer on the front of the engine, so I won't be able to actually put this belt on and use the tensioner for what it's worth but we'll at least get the parts on the engine and show you guys like where it bolts up, all that good stuff and get a good look at it. Now I do plan on getting this powder coated along with the TGVs because I just think that the billet stuff would look really good. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this stuff on. We'll show you guys. Okay, so I was actually tremendously confused. I ended up taking the pulley back off the alternator because what IAG may or may not tell you, I honestly didn't read too much, is that the alternator actually has to be flipped 180 degrees upside down. So the plug and the little terminal there, they have to be facing down. So then you can use this bracket right here on this piece, as you can see here. So I have it backwards right now, but this uh, bracket has to be turned around on the front casing, so that way it can go on there like that. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this thing on and then show you guys exactly what it took because this is the kind of stuff that nobody really shows. Alright, so you can see we got the power steering pump on, we got the alternator on, and like I said, you have to flip the alternator 180 degrees, and I guess somebody previously may have bent the dipstick tube because it was hitting this bracket pretty well, so I ended up having to bend it back just a little bit, but you can see it's kind of clearing now, but yeah, that's the bracket that goes on this side, and then the only other thing I'm seeing that I don't really like is underneath here, you see where the power hooks to the bottom of it? So that is a problem because that is hitting the water pump hose there pretty good. So I'm thinking maybe I could take that thing and turn it sideways so that it would come out kind of like where my finger is. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing there. But the only problem is at the bottom there, it's hard to see, but there's a little notch that's supposed to hold it in. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I might have to grind that off. I'm not sure if the STI one came like that but that just simply is not gonna work because it'll just over time rattle a hole right into this hose. So we don't want that. 
But overall, I'm pretty happy with the kit and I'm pretty happy with where everything's sitting and how it looks. So this is gonna be where we're gonna conclude the video for today. If you guys like the video, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll resolve these next couple issues in the next couple videos. So be sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.